Wake up, you sleepyhead, get up, get out of bed, live, love, laugh, and be happy. Good morning. It's uh, still two minutes before we are to go live, so uh, I'm just going to sit here and get ready. And um, I mean, I mean, we're live now, but I mean, the fi- the show is not officially started. It's not going to start for a couple of minutes, so you have plenty of time to call people. If you happen to have me on, call people you know and um, let them know that Saturday Morning Live's coming up in about a minute 20. It's going to start. I mean, it's not starting now, but, you know, I just wanted to. Okay, truthfully, I'm fired up, fired up about starting it. And um, Saturday Morning Live, for those of you who just happen to, tune in. I mean, just happen to have it on. Saturday morning live happens on Saturday. Wally, why we call it Saturday morning live. My wife's taking my picture of me talking to you. So she's going to, Jane's going to post on her Facebook um, that uh, me talking to you. So basically you're in the picture, (laughs) even though you won't see yourself. Okay, we've got a few seconds. Now, you'll know uh, when a Facebook Live, Saturday Morning Live has started because you'll hear the theme music. So that's how you know that Saturday Morning Live, yeah, we've got theme music. In fact, we're ready. It's an air organ. Live from Hardy, Arkansas, it's Saturday Morning Live, being brought to you by Walnetto Arts and Entertainment, where imagination oozes uncontrollably. (laughs) Welcome everyone to Saturday Morning Live. It should be a fabulous show today. Special guests include you. And my wife, Jane, and the music ran out, but that's okay. Welcome. We are live in Hardy, Arkansas, where Jane and I have been coming for over 50 years because of scenes like this. I'm going to show you this scene of Hardy. This is why we come here. This is our side yard. We walk right down to this area. takes us about a minute, and it's waiting for us year-round. Trees in bloom. This was taken yesterday by Jane. Look at those falls. Aren't they beautiful? This is why we come here. It is so relaxing. Look at that. And beneath those falls, large and smallmouth bass and fishing lures that I've gotten hung up and lost for well over 50 years. (laughs) If this river ever dried up, I'd have a fishing lure museum. But the large and smallmouth bass are plentiful. Oh, they're wonderful. I love them. You know, smallmouth go searching for food. Largemouth bass wait on it. And the largemouth bass, just by typical size alone, you would have to say they're the more successful of the predators of that two, those two fish. So, Because the smallmouth are usually smaller. They're more nimble. When you catch one, you get more of a fight, and it's more picturesque. My favorite fish to catch. I'll never forget the day I caught a smallmouth bass in that river, and it it just jumped up out of the water doing somersaults, trying to get rid of that bait. It fights you so much. The largemouth bass will fight, but the largemouth bass eventually uh, actually gives up after just a few seconds, really. Now, there may have been some maybe younger that fought longer, but the largemouth bass is essentially saying, oh, well, you caught me. I'll go. Put me on the wall, whatever you want. The smallmouth, I mean, it's protesting. So that's that's not why I invite you to. Saturday morning live for 
413, which is what I'm going to weigh if I keep eating like I have been up here at the cabin. What, Jane? What do I tell my people? What's the name of oh, this page? Craig O'Neill TV? Yeah, at Craig O'Neill yeah. TV. At Craig O'Neill TV. I'm sorry. I should have told you that. Okay. <laughs> Folks, we got some big names that show up for this show. I just want to call out a few of the big names that are showing up. Maria Chudy Swicegood. Listen to this. She watches. She never misses. She's the former accountability and grant manager at the Arkansas Department of Education. How about that? Never misses this show. And she's the type of person, when she walks down the hall, people whisper to coworkers, hey, there goes the accountability and grant manager of the Arkansas Department of Education. Maria Chudy Swicegood. She's a big deal. Watches this show. How about that? Sheila Hall Gardner, a special good morning. Get this. She was the special producer of the bluegrass gospel scene last night at the Faith Missionary Baptist Church. It was attended by thousands this gospel sing is one of the hottest tickets in Monticello at the Faith Missionary Baptist Church. Sheila Hall Gardner watches this show. One more. Wait a minute. How about, let's talk about singing. How about Gail Baker Sensing? That's a, that, that's, she's a big-time viewer of the show, lives in Harrison, and she holds the Harrison record for most cover photos on her Facebook page. What is it again? <laughs> it's at Craig O'Neill TV. At, at, at Craig O'Neill TV. All together? Or mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. all together. At and Craig O'Neill TV. At or That's the it. Word. Hmm? The word at or? No, at? it's a little thing at. Whatever that is. What is that little A with the circle around it? Circle A? Or is that a ranch? Jane's trying to get more followers. Jane's got tons of followers. You want to know why? Because of the artwork. Jane, we're ready for you. She's sending a note to all of her viewers. And I'm, I'm telling you all, this show's very popular, as you probably know. Ain't nothing like what Jane's got going on her Facebook page. She'll post a drawing. Thousands show up. I mean, she's got some response. It's incredible. Uh, and because of things like this, I want to show them the T-shirt. Jane's coming in. Look at this, you all. It's at Craig O'Neill TV. We should have. We should have arranged this before you. Me write it out for you. Here's Jane, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Jane, ladies and gentlemen, Jane has just shown up. Here we go. Where's my sound effect? Where is it? No, that's crickets. You don't want that one. <laughs> you don't want Thanks. the crickets. You don't want the crickets. No, we want this. <laughs> Man, sounds like a gospel scene in Monticello. Oh, that's the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want me to wear this? Yes. Look at this show. Look at that. Look at that, you all. In honor of the Eclipse 2024, no, you can't buy one. Explain. Please. I'm sorry. It's a one-of-a-kind original. I paint. I thought of it Sunday night, and I painted and drew this on here. Mm -hmm. It's not silk screened or printed on here. And I have had all these people go, why aren't you selling them? This is a one-of-a-kind. Maybe I'll auction it off one day. I don't know. I don't okay. know, but I do have... Some drawing. Oh yeah, let's see what you've got. Excuse we me. could, you know, we could so auction cold, that. So cold, I'm running it. It's cold right now, but it's gonna warm up. We could auction that no. shirt on Facebook. Well, not today. People would pay millions. Oh, sure. Hey. Okay. I'm I'm working. I I don't do coloring books anymore because I no longer have a publisher. But on my uh, website, Jane F. As in fabulous, Hankins, which is really our last name. <laughs> Dot com, I'm selling sets of coloring pages, and it's the it's the same kind of paper and size as what was in the coloring books. Only they're ready to 
to share, to color, paint, share, frame, whatever. And I'm working on travels. The theme for this, I have to have 20 of them in each packet. Um, this is travels through my through imaginary lands on fantastical beasties. And um, I do that. this. This is one I just finished, and it's been posted. You hold I can, it. I can help you here. Thank you. That is um, the royal family on parade <laughs> with the ambulatory toadstools. And, and notice. I notice the um, the young. I mean, you got the son and the prince, princess and the prince and princess, and then the queen. Oh, this is backwards. There's the younglings. <laughs> Tadpoles, get it? Okay, I think they've seen that enough. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And there is no protest going on over whether or not, there's no question asking in this picture whether or not they need a royal family. If, if the royal family is overrated. If the oh, country's anyway. being taxed too much to pay for the royal if family. If it's toads, for goodness sake, is this imaginary land? This, these Ooh. days we need imaginary Ooh, land. Jane. Okay, and yesterday, I've been watching Wait a minute, wait a minute, I got just an idea. What? Make that into a t-shirt. We sell it at Toad Suck. Boom! How about that? Maybe. Okay. That, that Sorry, means I'm ordering a lot of t-shirts. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I, I kind of want to back down and retire. He just keeps on going everywhere, everything, all at once. That's right. So exciting. But I'm glad that he's happy. All right, you want me to show this? Uh, the, okay, I'm working on this one. I usually draw so, it in pencil and then go back over it with ink. Look at that. You, you got it so dark there. Okay, I've been watching nature programs. And um, I was watching one on raptors or birds, and they were talking about their super senses. And I thought, okay, these little eyeball beings have super vision, and they ride upon these creatures... I have to think up names for them that have a huge, uh, very sensitive sense of smell <laughs> and hearing. And uh, that's good when you go out, you know, picking your pumpkin berries and because you got the look out for the dangers of the, oh, I can't, this is back hazard. Uh, the uh, little snaky dragons in there, rock dragons, have to guard their own like den. That. And she's got two younglings of her own. See? But, uh, Little big eyes there in the lead pointed that out. They don't mind mind them coming as long as they leave their pumpkinberry trees alone. Isn't that fun? Am I weird or what? Well, it's Walnut Arts and Entertainment. Hey. See what I mean? Imagination oozes out. You can't stop it. In Impossible. Wanda, da, mm -hmm. da, da, da. What is it? In the world of my imagination. Yeah. What did I do? Just mess no, up the no, sound? you're doing great. Did, where did I do my, where's my, where's my mic? <laughs> it's in his. It's under your hair. Now it's over around your neck. There it is. <laughs> At least it's not under your foot like it was one time. <laughs> and you Jack kept saying, there's no sound, there's no sound. That's because your grabbing old Jordan's foot was right on that thing, half unplugged. Hey folks, we what are, would he do we are me? oops free. I mean, in the past, this has been the nature of this face cast <laughs> because it tended to have a few problems. Now, this <laughs> and while we've got everybody standing, Jane and I want to show you another picture. We are so proud. It hit the paper today or the oh, iPad. Wait, she got glare on it. Oh, there's That's our all right. That's sweet all right. Amelia. It's at a career day in um, that, at that, Central. That's a picture that ran in the paper day of an entrepreneur uh, day at Central High School. They had young entrepreneurs setting up booths, explaining what their business model was. And this picture was taken. That's Nancy Rousseau, the older woman. Wait a minute. Don't Be careful, call Craig. That. Be careful. The uh, lady but the young with the girl light in hair. the middle of the picture that's with better. the little ribbon, looking interested and. She is and she's Amelia Kirby, our granddaughter, made the paper today, today <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. We're so proud. I showed them something I found. You know, behind us is kind of junky. 
we got so much. It's a collection of years of photographs and stuff, but uh, I came across <laughs> this one. Let's well, see what we used to look like back in the back in the day. 80s. You want to see eighties? <laughs> Woo! Sexy. <laughs> How about that? That was taken in one of the 4th of July picnics up here. Isn't that cool? We used to do that a long time hmm. ago. No more. Yeah. I think uh, this area is a little disappointed in their rea uh, bidness from the eclipse. Well, that was the I next understand. question. Do you think the eclipse was overrated? Now, no. I wasn't. Well, now, I will tell you, here in Hardy, they had planned a big celebration. They didn't get what they thought they were going to get. In fact, I talked to people at a restaurant last night who said, and I quote, we didn't see no change. We had the same people. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't but, anything. But the eclipse was but, wonderful. But the ecl but now in Russellville, from what I understand, they, they had a good crowd. I understand, too, that in Searcy, it wasn't bad. But, and, and we had story. I saw some stories on the news about Little Rock and the restaurants having to, well, they, they didn't get they as many customers. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get as many customers as they thought. Well, so, well, but we, I guess you had to be prepared. Yeah, you did. You wandered off down to St. John's and I went down there after you because <laughs> you thought I was already there. St. John's. By the way, seminary. let me tell you, oh, it's a seminary, and it's down the street from it's a us. big open and area. Jane and I had a little miscommunication. But we ended up coming back and sitting. We moved our chairs to the right place in the front yard, and it was very relaxing. And, man, when that, when it's totality, and there's mm. just that little ring. Man, beautiful. And you can take off your glasses. Then the street light came on. But and, otherwise, I'm really interrupting. Well, no, in that regard, the... Eclipse was not overrated in no. that it brought People us together. all together. Everyone, everyone outside with their glasses on, Most coming together over this celestial event that was magnificent. And in that regard, sure, you had too much food. You brought in staff you didn't need. We didn't have the thousands of people booking up hotel rooms, and it may have been it wasn't a financial disaster, but it wasn't what everybody had hoped. But nonetheless, that event and what people were talking about and saw, it was incredibly successful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, our party's everywhere. Thank you. Get up. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get up. Who, me? No, no. I'm talking about the crowd, the studio audience. Oh, okay. Which was applauding. Oh, then. really? But... It was in that regard, it was successful because it brought everybody together. Another event along the same lines, John Calipari hired his basketball coach for the University of Arkansas. Oh, yeah. And now there's so much expectation and excitement over uh, Arkansas basketball next year. He has been so successful. So in that regard, people came together on that. Get this. He's making about eight million dollars this next year. <laughs> and we wonder why tuition is high and how much do the other professors get paid? Well, I figured it up, by the way, Jane. I figured it up. In the average Isn't basketball game, considering you score eighty points a game, John Calipari is making three thousand dollars a shot. <laughs> So when you in. watch Razorback basketball, <laughs> Razor, Razor Tucky, <laughs> just invented that word right here on Saturday morning. Can Assis? That's right. Can Assis all? No, it's Arkansas. Razor Tucky because he came from Kentucky. Oh. Or it could be Ken Arkansas, whatever. As you watch it next year and you see a shot go up, you go, uh huh, that's $3,000. Cha ching. But. We all came together as Razorback fans, and that's the, one of the things about Arkansas sports, that no matter what the season is like, we're going to be there. Now, the crowds may not be as large if you're losing, and they, they dwindled quite a bit this past year for basketball and football, but they're still going to have a crowd. They're still going to have people cheering. It's still going to be magnificent, and it may not be that way at the end, but at the beginning... When the teams comes out on the floor, everything is great, and we are all together. 
Is that worth $8 million a year? Well, you tell me. Or $3,000 a shot. I think it is because I think togetherness, whether it's an eclipse or basketball coach, I think that is. Well, that co- that Coach Calamari ought to be really good. <laughs> What's his name? Calipari, Calipari. not Calamari. Yeah, That's Calipari. what you order at Trios. Yeah. Calipari is what we ordered for a coach. Calip- <laughs> Cal- Calipari. Cal- Calamari. Calamari is a squid. <laughs> no, this is not a squid. We do have a friend that plays the part of a squid. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, we, we all come together, and I, I think that is a commodity that, we all should aim for mm-hmm. uh, in in other areas of our lives, and maybe that's a uh, maybe we should make that a. We're all one family on point. one yeah. big plant, one planet. It's that's the only it. one we got. See, I think our I think our, we ought to suspend the national anthem for a few months. Come up with one that's not so combative. Trevor Noah brought this up <laughs> that our national that. anthem is all about fighting and surviving a fight. Maybe what this country needs is something that brings us together in the form of a national anthem. I realize, I know, I'm not being anti-American. If I'm saying, could we just change it for a few months just until we heal a little bit more, especially around this election, which tends to drive us all apart. But just just kind of just come up with something a little bit different that brings us all together. I have an idea. If you, if you want, don't mind, I do have a thought on this as to what we should use for what? a temporary, a temporary what? national anthem that would bring us all together. What? All right, here's the scene. It's a baseball game, and the announcer says, Would everyone please stand for the playing of our national anthem? And you hear, If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then Americans should show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Play ball! If you don't like hate and war, go. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. Well, I'm ready to get back to drawing. Okay, Jane's getting back to drawing. I'll let you return now to the live. If I I can ever post this on my... Get your thing right so I can post it. Okay. I will direct people to you. And Bye, everybody. Can you believe we do this when we're on vacation? Let's hear it for Jane, you all. Let's hear it for Jane. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hit the wrong button. Dead so gummit. Wrong. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> A new oops. I don't know. That's A new oops. <laughs> Thank you all. If you get a chance to invest in Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, $26 a year, and you will buy a book a month for a child, birth to five years, well, birth to five years of age for that one year. They'll get one book in the mail a month, and it is a big event when that book arrives. And if it's a big event over a book, imagine what that's going to mean to that child when he or she enters school. Ooh. Imagine how many books John Calipari could buy. I ought to send him a note. Not that he'd ever know who this is. He might look at it and go, hey, that's Craig O'Neill. He does Saturday Morning Live. (laughs) Yes, this has been Saturday Morning Live, brought to you by Walnetto Arts and Entertainment. Where... At Craig O'Neill.com. Hey, Craig O'Neill TV. Yeah. Saturday morning live. Never miss it. Every Saturday morning at 10. You can also watch it on Facebook. Where do you get it? It's Craig O'Neill, Saturday morning live, comma, Arkansas. And make sure you hit subscribe. Because the more people that hit subscribe, the means money. And our goal is a million people. It's Craig O'Neill, Saturday Morning Live, Arkansas. Hit subscribe because our goal is to get a million people. Imagine what that could mean for the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. What a goal, a million people. Although, to quote Steve Martin in a wonderful documentary on his life, the goal is the work. Not that this was work. But that's the goal. The goal is the doing. 
How about that? Thank you all for watching. Join us next Saturday at 10 for Saturday Morning Live. On Everybody say Craig, goodbye, Jane. Craig O'Neill <laughs> TV all together. I don't have it right yet. Uh, that's it at Craig O'Neill TV. Make okay. sure you share it with friends. Yes, cannot. All right, let's go stay together all week.